G'day guys, welcome back. I've got some new alcohol inks that I want to try today. So, uh, my local craft store, Craft Online, uh, they sold them. And they are by Ranger, Ranger inks. So I'm going to try them. Um, I'm just using these two up here today, just to do little experiments. So I'm using pink and... I kind of want to do pink and peach, okay? So here we've got dark pink and dark peach. This one's called raspberry. This one's called sunset orange. So that's going to go in this one. And then these two are a little bit more pale. We have pink sherbet and peach bellini. So that's what I'm going to do with those ones. Um, and I think I'm going to do the pink in the middle. So we'll see how they go anyway. They, um, they come already with the hole in them. So you don't have to pierce them. So we'll see if that's more beneficial. Spreading well so far. Uh, I'm using the Platinum 360 Plus. And they didn't spit. You know how sometimes when you flip over your alcohol inks they spit? It didn't spit so far. I won't put the lids on just yet, just in case I want to add more. So that's going to be that one and then I wonder if you need to shake them probably should and then this one's going to be the more pale version something just fell in there I don't know what that is all right so this is the pink sherbet I bought two different pinks oh, I don't think I really like that one very much it looks different on paper where's my other one um, might look alright. This one's shell pink. That one looks a bit brownish. Let's try shell pink. Hmm. Alright, so the, and then we have got the peach bellini. So again, no spitting. I did let my resin get to 40 degrees and then I decanted like I usually do. So much more pale on this side. But uh, yeah, I, I wanted to go for something like pretty and feminine-y. Right, while that's doing that, and I think I'll just go again. I might put a little bit of pink in between these so we get a bit of a different kind of a look happening like so and then a little bit more just in there and we'll see how that goes that one's looking really pretty this one does look a little bit more <laughs> bit more dull but we'll see oops hang on I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna do the now I don't know which one I'm working with is that one and oh, let's put a bit of this one in here not nearly as vibrant and I'm having to put an extra color a little extra drop on because it's just not vibrant when you use like inks such as let's resin which are you know highly concentrated you can really really see that they see the difference between them but let's just do that for now um, like I said I wanted a nice pretty pastel sort of a look for these so let's do that now the white um, I've got 25 grams in there. I'm just using the Just Resin White. And I'm going to wipe the top and the bottom and I'm going to leave what's on the side. Now I do want to wait until my white gets back to 40 degrees before I start and it's probably maybe already there. It took 15 minutes to get to 
40 degrees. I decanted, started the video, and then we'll see if this has got back up to 40 or not. I did a clock. I don't know whether you've seen it or not yet, but I did a clock, and um, I don't think I waited long enough for my white, and I got a few blobbies in the middle, which is really disappointing. So. I think I was hurrying too much, I thought, because I'd made up a huge amount of resin that it was going to go off faster, so I didn't actually take its temperature in the white, which I should have. Okay, that's looking good. Right, let's take the white's temperature. Now, I wanted to get back up to 40 before I, I use it. 40 degrees Celsius. Okay, we're over 40. So let's do this. I'm going to wipe that really quickly. So yeah, that's fine. It's got to its 40. Um, 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 um. Now I think what I'll do is I'm just going to divide my white, otherwise it's going to get contaminated, isn't it? Half for you and half for you, otherwise it's um yeah, it's gonna get contaminated and I don't want that. Alright, here we go. Now I want to do slightly bigger petals. Um yeah, I don't want to do like really small little petals, I want to do sort of bigger petals, so only three rows. Some bubbles doing that. All right, here we go. Let's get going. Dip with the silicon brush, wipe, big petal, big petal. I think sometimes if I don't do my petals big enough, um, actually, I'm not going to, I won't wipe it, I'll just do it. Um, I think sometimes if I don't do my petals big enough, um, they kind of look a bit weird, they don't sort of spread properly and they don't bloom properly. Oops, I dripped. I'm going to go right out here now, right out to the edge. I can't actually see where I've done underneath the low, but I was going for three, so three rows. And last one. And a bit of a swirl. All right, let's clean that off. Oh my gosh, I, I've dropped, I've dripped. Can I get that out? Oh gosh, now I'm making a mess. Let's see if I can incorporate that. Okay, um, so that's that one. Get a new piece of paper towel and we'll move across to this one. You can see some bubbles. Okay, here we go. keep going. I'm hoping my white's thick enough. You can sort of see how the resin gets dragged. Oh, look, I did it again. It's dripping off the side of the cup. Where did I get up to? Oh my gosh. Oh, here. You can sort of see how it's, yeah, the, res the resin's kind of dragging. And that kind of tells me that it's ready, so hopefully it will be. Is this my third row? Oh gosh, I don't even know. I should try and hold my cup away from the mould, shouldn't I? That way if it drips, it won't go into my mould. It's probably a more a 
better thing to do. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. And a little bit in the middle and a little swell. Okay, so that's it. I think. I think that's it. Oh my gosh. All right, let's clean up a little bit. I prefer to clean up as I'm going. Much easier than trying to clean up dry resin afterwards. Okay, now what I want to do is I just want to have a little look uh, and just make sure I haven't got any big blobs. A bit hard to see underneath that ink. But yeah, if you've got a big blob just sort of break it up a bit because if it's heavy, the white's heavy and if you've got any blobs they tend to fall through to the back. Alright, I think that's it. I'm just going to leave that. Another little torch for some bubbles. And... I was tempted to put some more colour in there, but I'm not. I, I think sometimes I overdo it and I put too much colour in. So let me just get my, myself cleaned up here and um, I'll get you down for a close up. I just need to finish cleaning up real quick before I take my gloves off. Put some alcohol spray on there and then just clean my little, my little stick. And clean my gloves with some alcohol as well. And then I can use those gloves again next time. I hope I'm not shaking the camera too much. If I knock the board. Oh, I've got a board here you see. So sometimes if I knock it, <laughs> I knock the tripod as well. Alright, let me go up my little ladder and get you and bring you down. And uh, we'll see what it's looking like, hey? Right, so this was, well, it's kind of looking a bit brownish in there, isn't it? Certainly not the pink and peach that I was after. This is the other one. Oh, I just stepped on a piece of tape. <laughs> oh, it scared me. Oh, what is that? It fell off. It was stuck on here and it fell off onto the floor and I just stood on it. Oh my gosh. All right, so it looks as if it's blooming. I'd say from, from this, this one's going to be prettier. I don't know where that brown came from. Yeah, I don't know. It's obviously a, oh, I don't know, was it this one? I don't, think, I don't think it was the shell pink. I think it was maybe the pink sherbet. Oh, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's mixed with something and it's, it looks a bit brownish. Anyway. Uh, this resin sets up really quick, so I'll be able to um, demold in about five hours. But they look as if they're blooming. I'm just going to have to see. This is oh, ring light. This one's sort of touching um, the edge of the mold. I just need to move that away so it can move. All right, I will see you um, in a few hours. Right. Oh, so it's the next day, and um. <laughs> Where did my pink go? It just disappeared, like it's just orange. So that's not a good sign, is it? Um, and then this one, well, the pink kind of went a brownish, musty kind of color. So, so far, I'm not impressed with the Ranger inks, but um, you get 14 mils in one of these, five, no, 0.5 fluid ounces, 14 mils. So they're bigger than what you would, the other inks are. Um, and they're $7 each. So maybe I'll just have to put more ink in them. Much more. But yeah, I'm disappointed that the pink's vanished. Maybe we'll be able to see it on the other side. I'll get them out anyway. Move that out of the way. So I'm going to put my little piece of black paper over the 
back. I didn't want to do a top coat because I just, it's a test piece, you see. I wanted to make sure you know, what it was going to look like before I went and spent more time and money on doing a top coat. All right, let's have a look at this one. So this was supposed to be the darker pink and the darker orange. Oh, it's really pretty, but <laughs> there's no pink. And um, I didn't get much blooming in here. I got a little blob there, actually. I might have made it a little bit like, you know how when you go up, you drop a lot of ink there. And I always say, try and move your blobs down. But I've obviously missed that one, see? I should have moved him down. Like, it's still pretty. Beautiful blooms on the outside. But yeah, my pink, pink has gone. All right, let's have a look at the next one. So this was the lighter pink and the lighter salmon -y color. All right, let's have a look at this one. Oh, that's pretty too. But yeah, the colors just, you know, the colors aren't very vibrant, that's for sure. So basically we've got white, the tiny little bit of pink, very, very pale pink, and a tiny little bit of orange in the background there, which has kind of gone that weird brownish color so yeah don't know I'll have to do some more tests with the um, the Ranger inks but so far these two tests haven't been impressed so I guess the cheaper cheaper inks um, you're not really going to get a very concentrated ink but anyway there we go all right um, I will keep trying with them because I've got them I, I bought selected colors I didn't buy like a whole set you have to buy them individually well I did anyway so I'll do some more testing with them I'll just have to remember to put more drops on because look <laughs> pink's gone all right gotta go Got builders here but I just wanted to unmold this and see what it looked like so um, yeah hope you enjoyed that and uh, I will do some more with the range of inks and see if I can get a better result all right thanks for watching you guys love you all take care bye for now